Yo, Galactic Family, we back in the building. Everybody, all the chosen vessels, hit that like button, share button. Don't forget to subscribe. It's not your fault for going no contact. Your mental health matters, so don't gaslight yourself. You got to protect your mental health. Dealing with certain people when you go no contact, you know you did that for your benefit. You know you didn't do that to hurt nobody. You didn't do that to be a bad person. You did that because you had to do what was best for you. And if people don't want to hold themselves accountable or change, then you can't put yourself in harm's way. People are allowed to be who they want to be. And no one is going to own up to anything about themselves they don't feel they need to. So, you went no contact for your mental health. You tried to resolve things and fix things, but you have to go low to no contact so that you can grow. So that way you can you can heal and that way you don't have to walk around as a mentally screwed up person. Mental abuse is real and it will cause you to not be yourself. It feels like when you're around certain individuals that you're in a, 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 a you're imprisoned within your own mind. And going low to no contact was just simply your way of breaking free. Stress ages people. Stress will cause health issues. It's not good to to take stress in on a on a daily basis constantly with with no pause button. No pause on the stress. So what you, what you chose to do as a person just trying to figure out something that they were confused by, thrown off, and upset to avoid rage-induced attacks, to avoid feeling like you're, you're burning on the inside with anger when it's nothing that you have control over as far as the other individual you had to separate so that way you could you could not be frustrated and upset constantly day after day all the time without a break so the only thing that you were left to do was to separate because you don't want to cause any problems. You're the person who can see clearly and see through what's going on. So when people aren't mature and you are, you got to stand on that and that's 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 the decision you have to make you have to make the mature decision somebody's hurting people and that person could potentially make you hurt yourself or cause you to do something drastically that you would regret you have to count your cost of what it is to be around certain individuals your peace of mind and your mental health is worth more than somebody stressing you out because you're guilty. You you can't be guilt. There's no guilt and there's no shame in protecting yourself. Self-preservation always comes first. So it's not your fault. All right, your mental health matters and you can't gaslight yourself. 
sometimes when you don't spend enough time around people, the bad things that they did, it tends to fade away. And you only tend to remember the good things. You have to keep in mind that people aren't going to change. So you have to remain and you have to remain this type of person when it comes to dealing with certain people because it's for your own benefit and it's, it's for your mental health. You're doing this so that way when you go out into society, you could be a normal functioning person because otherwise you're going to be on edge. You're going to be irritated all because of what you're worried about other people think about you. When you're when your health is at risk, you can't care about what other people think about you. You have to do what's best for you, whatever that is. Whatever you have to do to make your life better, so that way the pressure is not on you, the stress isn't on you, it's not killing you. Because stress can kill. And when you when you feel like there's just a, a un unhealthy amount of stress that you can't get away from unless you have unless you get up and leave then you have you have to remove yourself from that because it's not worth your health mentally physically that 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 will cause you to that will cause you to break that will cause pieces in your body to break down organs body parts won't work it'll cause arthritis there's there's links between narcissism and arthritis make your bones dry up all because of the stress all because that there's salt forms in your body salt crystals when you stress from too much stress so i mean you have to count the cost feel like a bad person or feel like a healthy person and when they call you bad when people say you're bad, they'd be manipulating you if they were to say that. They'd be gaslighting you. But here's the thing. When you feel bad, you're gaslighting yourself. Think about that. When you feel bad about doing something that's best for you, you're gaslighting yourself. Because you have to do you had to do what was best for you so that way you could be healthy. That way you can have a good life. That way you don't you don't die from from stress people can die from stressful situations and sometimes unfortunately narcissism comes in the form of witchcraft when when you when you get an uncontrollable uh form of rage when you, when you just have so much anger and you just have so much rage but when you go when you leave people it goes away so you have to watch that because you could potentially carry that rage out into the real world and you won't be action you won't be acting and functioning normal like a regular person because you were just being abused for for who knows how long with no outlet nobody to no nobody you could talk to about it nobody no one cares what's happening to you People are turning a blind eye to the abuse that you're receiving. And you can call it whatever you want, but there's mind games that people play that cause certain anger and certain rage in people. And when you stay around that, you're becoming somebody's punching bag. They're just taking shots at you and jabs at you. And you're just sitting there and letting it happen. And then sooner or later, that your, your, your tolerance is going to build up and you're not going to be able to take it anymore. Whether you leave and take it out on yourself in the form of negative substances or whether you take it out on a person or an object or a thing resulting in nothing but negativity. You break up your stuff because somebody stressed you out. You have to pay for new stuff. You have to buy new stuff. You get into something with someone because you were stressed out possible legal troubles stuff you don't need to happen stuff you don't need in your life stuff you don't want you don't want those things 
but unfortunately <clears throat> there are people who want them for you and that's 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 not your fault that was never your fault you can't control what people you can't control how people view you and what they want for you and how how they want to treat you you have no control over that only in the sense of being able to walk away from it and that's why you have to go low contact or to no contact because you're doing what's best for you to stay around certain people to let people just walk all over you just so you could say you're a part of something to let people walk all over you just so you could say you had christmas to let people walk all over you just so you could say you had thanksgiving dinner is it worth it when you go home you take that plate home you take those gifts home and you feel terrible about yourself because you just got you just got uh you just got torn to shreds for just just because you wanted to because you felt guilty about not participating in a holiday but more or less all that was was just a parade for people to treat you bad a, a, a narc parade for them to bowl over your confidence take a crap on your dreams and and lower you further into the ground to where they really feel you belong unfortunately those comments that they said, those those jokes that they said, they weren't a joke. They really meant that. They people will dial back once you start to catch up. When you start to become aware, they'll dial it back. Then they'll lull you back to sleep. Then they'll start treating you terrible again. I saw this quote the other day. They said snakes shed their skin to become a bigger snake. So people will people will people will shed their bad behavior what it seems like will turn into a new person only to lull you to sleep okay we got them and then they'll start slowly but surely bringing you back home again reeling you back in with the negativity with the rude remarks and it's like you you, you don't care about it but it's best for you to go no contact so that you just don't have to deal with the with the issues with the abuse with the negativity, all right? You you don't you shouldn't be around groups of people who don't have your best interest at heart or in mind. That's unhealthy for you. It's not about caring or not. It's about being healthy. And you you want to stay healthy. So going no contact that was that was the best move for you to do. You need to let go of that guilt. You can meditate. You can release your guilt that way. You could pray to God. You could release your guilt that way. You could just give your guilt to God as an entity. You could tell it to not eat here. You could, you could tell that entity to not eat here. All right. It's a method from Reverend Ike. His preaching, he, he says that you could tell the entities to not eat at you because that's what they're doing. And it's a shame that people, certain people are raised with the guilt dynamic so that way, once you when you want to break away from the negativity, you feel guilty. When you want to stop being abused, you feel bad about it. It's manipulation. It's called game. And people play them. And people will try it on you. But once you become aware, that's when you draw the line. That's when you have to go low to no contact because you see you're being manipulated. You see you're being abused. And you see that people don't take it as something serious. They just take it as this is how we interact with you. And you have to take this and deal with this if you want to be a part of this. So it just to be a part of something, is it worth it? You have to ask yourself that because people aren't going to change. We, you, you try to see if people would change. You try to talk to people about their behavior. Nothing happened. People didn't know what you were talking about. So, and you know, a, a, a Les Brown said, a person forced against their will is of the same opinion still. So you could try to force somebody into a new behavior. You can try to force somebody into a new attitude all you want. That person is still, they may put on a little act to try to make you feel better. 
because it makes them look like a better person in their eyes. Well, let me take it light on them. That's how they feel about it. All right. When it's when it's two people doing this to you at a time and it's going back and forth, you, you tend to not be aware as easy. But once you start to become aware, you could pick up on it a lot easier because you start to see the patterns and you start to see the behaviors, even when people fall back and they try to act like that's not what they're doing. But it is. So just like the movie, just like the Matilda movie, you got to go off with the lady. You got to separate and don't look back. Matilda, she bounced and she ain't look back. So you got to kill. And, and I think that was symbolic because that lady saw herself in that little girl. And I'm, I think I got to go back and watch that movie. That that movie is about chosen ones. That movie is about em empathic people. The little girl was telepathic. She could fly. <clears throat> like that, like that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. All right. There's, there's people who have actually experienced certain things that they don't feel comfortable talking about because there's, they, they will get, um, they'll get shunned upon or they'll get, um, They'll get told to get out of here and go the other way with that crazy stuff, but it's not crazy. I believe it actually happened to you, and I've experienced some paranormal-esque things myself. So all chosen ones do, all right? Uh, it, it depends on what stage you're at, how much light you have, what your connection, and all these things, your level of awareness, what 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 God wants to what wants you you to know or be seen i mean or or see or not you know so it, it, it depends on that too whatever god wants to show you he's gonna show you so you know this is his it's his, it's his thing we just living in it um <clears throat> so yo love yourself don't gaslight yourself don't feel bad about the decisions that you make because you only have one life and unfortunately there are people who feel that you don't have a life. Your life is their life. And they they call shots and they, they think they're in control of things. But you have to, you got to just find the silver lining within all of this and find your individuality within all of this and just do what's best for you as far as the space. All right. Even like even the low to no contact. If that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do because you got to put yourself first, especially if people already live their life and you see them just trying to live through you or trying to stop you from being happy because that's what a lot of narcissists will do. They don't want you to be happy if they can't and they'll try to speak badly on things that you enjoy, make you feel bad about the things you like to do, try to discourage you from doing them because they don't have uh, things that make them feel good to do. All right, so people who are, um, people who don't feel good or are unhappy, they're gonna want you to feel that way too. And that becomes toxic when you're trying to not be that way and you're fighting. And then you realize that, wait a minute, People were making me feel this way on purpose. All right, that's why you have to go low to no contact because it's toxic and people are making you, people are pulling you down to a negative place where you don't want to be at purposefully. That like you, your, your high vibration, your, your uplifted spirit is something that certain people can't take unless they could, they could crack it, crack it down, break it down and destroy it. And they, they, they'll deal with the destroyed version of you just fine. You're weak, you're unhappy, you're miserable, you're sad. That's the version of you that they want. They don't want a happy, uplifted, fulfilled, creative, inspired version of you. They want that, they want that part of you to die. So since that's toxic and that's not right, <laughs> you gotta uh, keep that person, keep that version of you alive. So that way you could work on your gifts and your dreams and you could do what God wants you to do with your life because God gave you a gift and a talent and 
if you're going through this, I'm pretty sure whatever that talent is, it's been discouraged, it's been talked down upon. So now it's time that you, you have this space. It's really time to work on your gifts, focus on yourself, and put all this time and energy into your creativity. Don't feel guilty. Don't worry. Pray a lot and ask God to guide you with your decision making and the choices that you make in the future and in the present because you won't fail. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I appreciate all the likes, the shares, the comments, and shout out to all the new subscribers, all the uh, new chosen vessels. Salute, art, right, and shout out to the Galactic family. I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.